What's new in Charlie's? What's new in Charlie's? Still on name. Hi, right, welcome to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Tonight, we're going to be opening a bottle that's uh, near and dear to my heart. It's from Smooth Ambler, Max Welton, West Virginia. Uh, being born and raised in West Virginia, uh, I always had a soft, I've always got an affinity for this brand. Uh, they, make, they make great stuff. They scout great stuff. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job there. Uh, never had the opportunity to go, um, but someday I'm going to make it there uh, and check it out. But uh, I love what they're doing, and everyone I've ever talked to in the business says the guys there are phenomenal people, just great people, which I would expect nothing less from my West Virginia brothers. But uh, we're going to be opening this bottle up, give it a try. It is a rye whiskey. Uh, it is finished in a port cask. Um, and as always, couldn't open it without my good friend, Mr. Don Williams of Bourbon Full. How are we doing, Don? I'm doing good, Charlie. And uh, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, you're a West Virginia guy, haven't been to Smooth Ambler. I'm a Michigan guy, Michigan guy been to Smooth Ambler. Rub it in, man. Well, I'm going to show everyone. So this is West Virginia. And this is where I live, and this is where Smooth Ambler is. So if I go to West Virginia to visit my family, it is, in, it is a million miles away. So someday I'm going to make it there. Um, but it's tough when you have a little time off to not see family when you're in West Virginia. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to make it happen someday. So how's it going, man? Are you excited for this? I am. And, uh, you know, the people at Smooth Ambler were fantastic. It's a beautiful setting. It's... Uh, not too far as the crow flies from the Greenbrier. Yeah, it's uh, God's country for sure. Yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, we had a fabulous time while we were there and uh, got to try some stuff behind the scenes and really had a good time. And really, they kind of put themselves on the map with their contradiction yeah. bourbon. Yeah. And that was something that they're really straightforward about. It's a blend of some sourced bourbon uh, and a mixture of rye and corn. It's really interesting, and uh, they've really kind of established themselves. They do a lot of combining whiskey with barbecue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have a lot of events. Their facility has an outdoor area. Uh, we never had the opportunity to be there at the time of that, but they do a lot of community barbecue stuff. And, and actually, when that area was subject to flooding, yeah, uh, Smooth Ambler actually cooked meals for like 800 residents. Wow, it was dude. really yeah. kind of a well, like, great story. Like I said, I expect nothing less from West Virginia. That's, uh, that's how we roll down there. So, yeah, very cool. So this one is a rye whiskey uh it says it's distilled in indiana so that probably tells us it's uh mgp yeah which they they uh, source a lot of stuff from there so there's smooth ambler and then there's old scout so on the bottle that tells us it's from the smooth ambler people but anything old scout from them is something they've scouted out and procured uh for themselves they don't they don't try to hide it they don't try to um you know think make you think it is something of theirs they've gone out they've they find it, they source it, just like a lot of people do. We've talked about it a million times on this uh, broadcast. But, you know, um, th but these guys are, like I said, they don't try to pull the wool on anybody. That's it. The stuff they make is smooth ambler. The stuff they find is, is old scout. So that's how you can tell that from reading the bottle. If you ever see a smooth ambler bottle in a store, anything old scout, they've scouted out themselves. So um, what else do you know about it? Have you... Well, you know, I, I want to try this because I tried to find out a little bit more about the source of the port wine cast, and um, I, I'm a big fan of port wine, and so I'm interested to see what the flavor profile is going to be. But literally, um, I think this is kind of new on the marketplace Yeah. Uh, because there's a not a lot of information out there. It might be very limited. I don't know. I was just uh, fortunate to get a ball. I can tell you what, Don, though, there's not much port in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, I, I wouldn't have, yeah, port might have been the left-hand side of the boat, and that's about it. That's, right. I, okay. that's about the only port you're going to find in West Virginia. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. And uh, I don't know if you got anything else for us there on this, or? No, nope. just, just time to drink it. Just uh, it's got a great color to it. I mean, you're gonna get that some some of the red from the port. I mean, you can see that in the bottle. 
Uh, packaging is nice, great, as always. Great nose. Oh man, I can smell it from here. Oh yeah. Now that is what I expected. We've done some other port finished yeah. whiskeys that were a little disappointing. Yeah, sure. Uh, this one is, is everything you think it would be, right? It, it is pretty nice. You get that that spicy rye right up front, and then you get that little sweet finish of the cognac. Um, wow. Wow. A lot of fruit. Um, yeah. Some some sweet cherry. Um, Really smooth. It's proof on this, Don. Do we know that? Uh, 103 proof. Wow. Non chill filter. Yeah. So, this is batch number two, bottled by James. Uh, thank you, James. Thanks for all your hard work, man. Thanks for showing up for work today. You know what I mean? That That's an important thing nowadays. It is an important thing. I don't know what happened to Sarah. They used to all be signed by Sarah, so I hope she's still around. But, James, nice work on this one, man. <laughs> It's really, it's yeah. really a nice job. This is really, this is really good. And, and it has that viscous, nice mouthfeel. Oh it. yeah, dude. Oh yeah. So we don't really know how long it was aged. We don't know how old it is. We don't know any of that stuff, right? It wasn't really out there to be. I'm guessing it's, it, it's in the five year range. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to make a lot of mistakes, so I'm not gonna. Yeah. Uh, guess too much, but really. Like uh, I said, from the color there, that's, that's got some, I'd say it was aged for a little while in the poor cask. It wasn't just a, right. a rinse like some of them do. You know? Well, let me tell you how new this is. It's not on your website. Really? Which is usually the first place I'll go to to get sure. a little background. Uh, it's not even listed. So I reached out to them late in the day. They didn't get back to me. But the bottom line is... Uh, it's hunting season, Doug. This is, They're not going to call you back. That is true. <laughs> That is true, but yeah. uh, you know, I, I've been practicing something for you, yeah. just for this video. Okay, all right. You ready? Yeah. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Nice, dude. Cheers. Cheers. On that, I got nothing else to say. But uh, how about them ears? But other than that, thanks, guys. This is as always will be available here at Charlie Still on Main. Come in and give it a try. It's fantastic. Hey. Um, yeah. Smooth Ambler. Good Smooth job. Ambler. Good job, guys. Charlie.